So here we have a, a new type of cargo bike. It's got dual steering, it's got a hub steering, and it's got a pivot steering system. So hub steering is like the recumbent trikes that work fine. Uh, pivot steering is like the old butcher's bike, which are not very good because they, uh, they are a bit dangerous. If you take a load on one of the wheels, uh, you fall off, and they've got no self-centering on the steering, no caster, so they're a bit dangerous at high speed. But the reason you need both is that if you have just the hub steering, when you turn large angles, you can't carry any luggage. We, we can carry a lot of luggage in here on the final bike. This is clearly just a prototype concept trials. Um, but then if you just at high speeds, when you're traveling along at high speeds, eight degrees all you need, we can lean the bike over. So that's fine for traveling on roads. We have a switch here, so we'll switch over manually now but it will be done automatically in the, the final bike and now we have a pivot steer system so that allows us to turn we're quite limited here but that would allow us to turn in very tight spaces at low speeds which is all you'd ever want to turn very tightly so this is driven by hydraulics the steering is done by hydraulics so we've got a drive cylinder here that is turned by the handlebars and that drives a hub steering cylinder here, which just drives the, turns the hubs. We've then got our control valve that we can switch over. And then that drives a pivot steering cylinder here. That's how we control our pivot steer. So for those of you who know your hydraulics will recognize these are actually pneumatic cylinders. Uh, but we have no, no pump in this, so we're running on pure water, which is fine. Uh, hydraulic fluid was a bit thick for the damping orifices inside the cylinder, so we run on pure water, which means we can assemble under water to get rid of all the air. That was uh, one of the issues. It's a sealed system, but the pipes are fairly compliant. Uh, we're not expecting to go above 7 bar. This was only 7 to 10 bar pressure capability in the pneumatic cylinders, but that's fine for what we need. And the reason we're doing hydraulics, one of the reasons is that we can test pressure so we can see what loads we get so that on the mechanical system that we've got designed, we can, uh, we can size that and design it once we know the loads it's gonna see. Um, but also uh, these pipes are a bit soft, so there is a bit compliance in the system, which is an issue. But again, that's an important trial test to see how much uh, Play we can accept and still make it rideable without falling off. So that is our uh, our system, our bike system.